Back to BPTV, driven by Audi. Hurricane Ida left destruction in her path when she roared through our area on September 1st. New Jersey was hit pretty hard. Bridgewater in particular, where the Yankees AA affiliate, the Somerset Patriots, play. And we welcome in their president and general manager, Patrick McVeary, for a feel of what transpired there over the past two weeks. Can you just give us, Patrick, an extent of the damage that you guys suffered? Sure, yeah. yeah listen, it was... Uh... This whole area got hit really hard, and uh, we, we walked in on on, uh, on that Thursday. And uh, first of all, actually, the water wasn't that bad in the morning, and it just kept rising and rising. I think we ended up about uh, eight or nine feet of water uh, on our uh, on our field uh, in our facility, um, damaging quite a bit of stuff. We we were in a bit of a bit of shock, um, to be honest with you. And, at that point, we were just waiting for that water to receive and uh, to recede and see what's left. Patrick, what was the community reaction? I, I know there was a lot of outpouring on Twitter to help you guys out, but how did the community react to your situation? Well, listen, this, this community was was hit hard. Um, it was uh, we, we know we've been through floods before as a community, and uh, but this one was probably it was the worst uh, since I've been in this area for the last 25 years. So. Uh, but the community, you know, they, they look to the Patriots as kind of the beacon of, uh, of hope uh, for the community. And, you know, they, they were very supportive. Uh, I had so many people um, reach out and, and ask if they could help. And uh, that is, is very special to us and something I'm internally grateful for. Um, and, you know, we were able to pull it together. And I think with the support of not just uh, our staff and groundskeeper, but just the overall uh, help from the county, uh, in our township, Bridgewater Township, that made sure we got what we needed to have. This is just 13 days ago. So t walk us through how the, the damage was repaired and how you guys have bounced back from this. Yeah, you know, so again, if, uh, that Thursday, uh, we really couldn't do all that much because the water was still on the field and in the facility. Uh, Friday morning, we came into a lot of just muck and mud, uh, and you really looked at all of the... Uh, of the areas of the ballpark that were damaged and it was it was extensive so at that point we kind of assess what we're looking at what 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 are we uh what are we going to do moving forward as a staff and the, those decisions uh were made collectively with our groundskeeper uh our vice president of operations uh, brian and wiki uh and, and a few others to say okay we have about you know at that point we're looking to play here on that tuesday we have about three or four days here is it possible? And we, we quickly determined there's no way we'd be able to play on that Tuesday. And unfortunately for us, uh, Hartford, um, the Colorado Rocky AA affiliate, took us in for a few days. Um, and that gave us the Labor Day weekend to work uh, at making sure our ballpark was put back together. And we really focused on, you know, the, the fan experience, making sure the, the levels of play, the fans, uh, as far as them coming to a game, they really would not be able to tell any difference if there was a flood or not. So. We worked for the weekend. Uh, we're really waiting for make sure we had materials uh, to put back the billboards, uh, materials from the warning track that got taken away by the water. Uh, and those things all came together. So uh, on that Tuesday, I had to make a decision for Hartford's sake. Uh, and Major League Baseball had requested that I make a decision by Tuesday for that Friday game to see if we'd be able to play that weekend. So, you know, it was a, it was a I, I was sweating it a little bit, but <laughs> uh, I was assured by our groundskeeper, Dan Turner, who's unbelievable, that uh, he could make it work uh, for Friday. Uh, our, our billboard company, who's up in New Hampshire, came down, and uh, he started putting the pieces back together. And he came down on that Tuesday, and uh, he said he would be ready by Friday. And a few other uh, people, including uh, the, the warning track, Baker Construction, came in and made sure the warning track was all put back together and some of the foundation uh, around the outfield wall in the field. So... I gave it a go-ahead for uh, being able to play on Friday, got the approval from MLB and from the Yankees and the Rockies, and we, we were good to go for Friday. And I was sweating a little bit on Wednesday and Thursday, but by the time I left Thursday night, I was feeling pretty good that uh, we'd have a great weekend. And uh, this past weekend, give us a feel. What was the atmosphere like when you were back in your park? Yeah, the Friday night was, first of all, it was an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fall evening, and uh, we had a great crowd, and... Uh, I tell you, the, the people were just like, you know, in awe that, that we were able to pull this off. And uh, it felt really good for our staff, all the congratulations, the thank yous, 
Um, and all that was just uh, was, was special, something I'll never forget. You know, and again, you drive around this community and you feel for these people uh, who are fans um, and, and their whole lives are in their front yards. And, you know, uh, we're, we're here for them to kind of get away from kind of that what, what they're dealing with. Uh, so I felt like that was an important part to show that we're resilient uh, and we can come back and uh, we're going to make sure that our community bounces back too. Yeah, uh, just a tremendous job by you and your staff, Patrick. And I saw one of the pictures we showed. Someone was wearing the shirt, Jersey Strong. Those came about after Hurricane Sandy, and they come true once again through Hurricane Ida. We thank you for the time. Uh, thanks for having me. Thank you. All right, that's Patrick McVary, the president and GM of the Somerset Patriots Law.